Hi, welcome to Tech Talks. Uh, today I'm here with Juliet, who's the country manager of Google. Juliet, welcome. Thank you for coming on the show today. Thanks, Uzoma. Great okay. to be here. So, Google, um, Google has made great inroads in Nigeria. Now we can drive and uh, <laughs> We can drive to anywhere we want to without actually um, asking for directions, especially from the Okada people that we used to do two years ago. Um, so beyond search and map, what else has Google done in Nigeria and is doing? Great. So Google is all about the internet and making the in internet real and relevant to everyday life. And so our strategy in Nigeria has been focused on three pillars. The first has been access, because the first and starting point is how do we make sure that the internet, that internet access is more available and more affordable to the average user. And we've been working with different stakeholders like government and um, you know, telecom operators and other service providers to look at how we can remove the barriers to internet access. The second is relevance, which is around local content. That's where maps comes in. We've been putting you know, local maps online um, and um, a lot of other locally relevant information like small, medium business information, uh, uh, creative content, Nollywood content is online. So just looking at making sure that we have local content online. And then the third piece is around sustainability, which is really about capacity building. How do we make sure that people understand what it means to take advantage of the internet? How do we ensure that developers can build great apps that people can engage with? How do we ensure that the skills are available in the marketplace? So, oh, okay, great introduction. In fact, all the questions I was going to ask, <laughs> I've just thrown them aside now. So I'll ask you the, the first. So the first one is access. Yes. So and I, I think, um, Nigeria, I think one thing that most Nigerians have, in fact, we have over 90 million uh, mobile phones. Yes. So it is access to internet and yes. data. Yes. Most people are using feature phones and do not get the full capacity of what Google can bring, bring to them. Yeah, I agree with you. Data is a very important part of the, of the equation. And Nigerians are very talented people, very entrepreneurial. If, they could, if we can just remove that barrier amazing things will happen because in spite of the challenges, we're seeing some great things happening. So what we've been doing, one of the programs we've been running in this area is uh, providing internet access to universities. We've worked with a lot of universities in Nigeria to uh, actually pay for international bandwidth and support the entire university community in getting online. We've connected uh, 50, over 15 universities end to end to date and we've deployed Google Apps for Education for over 50 universities across the country. And then even with our products, we're doing a number of things. For example, with Maps, there's now Maps Offline. You can actually use Google Maps Offline. Yeah, I tried that, I used that. Great, great. And uh, how was your experience? Well, it was good, but I think it's just the data again. So, yes. so it is downloading. And so people are very, I think Nigeria is very entrepreneurial. So they know that <laughs> if they download, when they see like 50 megabytes to download, they think this is, this is eating into my data. Right, yeah. right. So, uh, so, so I think that, 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 that is, those are the pain points that prevents people from shall I say, benefiting from those, um, those features that, that, that are available to, available to them. Yes, and part of what we're doing as well is, is education because what we find as well is the perception around you know, the data consumption on some of these applications is actually worse than the reality. Um, so you know, Maps of, Offline is one example. Even YouTube, we launched YouTube Offline as well. You can view your favorite videos offline. Is, is, it, for the, is it for the eight hours? Is it only for the eight hours? Uh, because, at a time. At a time, okay, yeah, because I downloaded a, a few mu music videos. And of course, videos of myself as well, <laughs> eh? for offline use. <laughs> what is the awareness like from your own um, um, experience with the small business, knowing that they can actually have an address with uh, a domain address that does not say Uzoma Doze at google.com, but it says Uzoma Doze and Sons. Com. Sure, absolutely. Mm. And that is a very big segment for us because small medium businesses are very important to the economy in Nigeria. Um, the National Bureau of Statistics says that 96% of exist, existing businesses are small, medium businesses. Mm, yeah. So they have a, a huge role to play in terms of fueling the economy. If we can help them grow, that would really have a ripple effect on the overall economy. And so we've actually, we have uh, programs that have really focused on supporting SMBs in getting online, starting with just getting them listed on yep. Google Maps. We have a product mm -hmm. called Google Places that makes it easy for you to put um, business information mm -hmm. on maps. Um, and uh, in 2011, actually, we ran an initiative called Get Nigerian mm -hmm. Businesses Online. Mm -hmm. And we did this yeah. across, across uh, uh, multiple countries in Africa. Yeah. 
And uh, in, through that initiative, we provided tools that any small medium business owner uh, that was just you know, that just had basic com computer literacy could go through and uh, get their business oh, online right. in you know, a couple yeah. of hours mm -hmm. and have it listed on maps as well. And beyond that, um, we have our cloud computing suite that small medium businesses can also take advantage of where you can have your own company domain name. So not at google.com, but actually your own domain name. And um, again, this is something that we, we have been rolling out and it's part of the education that we provide to small medium businesses. And very recently, I don't know if you heard in the news, this is uh, as recent as last mm -hmm. week actually, we've kind of taken it to another um, level where we recently announced our commitment to train one million people ah. across Africa on digital skills. And that mm. includes uh, small media. A, a mm. huge part of that would be small medium mm. businesses. So let me ask a question. So you're, you're coming up with all these propositions that I have never heard of. <laughs> and I'm thinking, this is the great Google that's actually in everybody's face. But all these things that, for example, we as um, um, bankers who are trying to also help our, our customers um, and gain market access, we're not aware of these things. And I, I think part of, part of the challenge is with so many um, offerings, how do you create, how do you segment your markets and how do you create that uh, awareness for people to um, adopt these, um, these, these things that actually make their lives and their businesses easier to go by? Sure. So we believe very much in partnerships. Talking about um, organizations like great, yours. Great organizations <laughs> like us, yes, thank you. <laughs> and so for this program, for example, we're really open to partnerships. And we are in, in conversation already about some partnerships to, to help us scale further. Um, so that's really an integral part of how we, how we work. And um, in terms of uh, um, awareness creation and targeting, so um, it would usually be to a large extent, um, as I mentioned, for, 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 for a lot of, a pro depending on the program, but for this, for example, small, medium businesses, that's a huge segment we're targeting. Young Africans uh, across the, the continent are a, ta um, a part of our target market. And we have been doing a lot of, uh, I mean, we just launched this last week, right? So, um, and we had a lot of uh, uh, discussion and engagement mm -hmm. online. On social media, we have our official blog posts. Um, we, I was on, um, a few of us actually were um, on the news, uh, I was on CNBC last week and so on. So we use these kinds of channels, mostly digital channels, but also um, you know, a, a combination to put the word out and certainly relying on partnerships. So let me just go back, my last question, I hope, um, on um, small businesses. So if I was a small business and I wanted to create a domain, yes. create emails, use uh, all the Google tools to, for marketing, how much hand-holding, what is the typical annual cost that I would expect and what is the amount of hand-holding that I would require? Because, you know, it's very difficult, yeah. it, it's very scary sometimes where, yeah. you know, I have a physical outlet and suddenly I want to go online. How do I get, how do I get help yeah. and how much is it going to cost me? Yeah, hmm. that's a very good question. To be honest with you, the perception of complexity is actually worse than the mm. reality, yeah. which is one of the reasons why we're investing in this digital skills training for one million people because it's just really breaking the initial barrier. Yeah. Let's just even get people right from the beginner level to a, a certain comfortable level of awareness because through that they'll realize that actually I can, I can do this stuff myself. There are a, a lot of our tools are, are designed to be very, um, you know, like DIY based where you can just go online and walk through it. You can get help even online and so on. But, you know, if people are not um, used to engaging with the Internet that way, um, they, would, they would have a different perception. So that's why we're trying to raise the skill set and then so that people can see that actually you have th this wide range of tools available to you to empower you mm -hmm. to make you more productive and that you can actually take advantage of these by yourself and some of those tools are free as well okay, julia thank you very much i think we have to take this conversation offline <laughs> we didn't have too many secrets for the competition so thank you for coming on and um i'll see you offline great thank, thank you very much Zola. thank you